Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life. I always do the the uh, the uh, transition vlog out here now that I'm doing it more and more because I'm remembering after I do the vlog for observation. This one I did the observation and gnosis vlog. A second vlog is coming now to deal with gnosis because it, it is a topic all on its own. And it's pretty heavy, and so you need to sort of split things off in order to prevent going over the particular hour. So there's going to be two segments to things. And that's when, as you go further and further into the research, things get more and more detailed, and you need to sort of split up. That's what happens with notebooks. Notebooks split up. I have multiple notebooks depending on how deep the topic is and how far I've gotten in it. So certain, in certain cases, there's almost nothing in the notebook, so there's only one notebook. But as you go further in, you get four or five pages into your notes. You need to start separating things. You see, start organizing things. Uh, and you need to sort of, this is where you bring in your, uh, uh, you split your notes into various different headings. And this is all goes on when you talk about reorganizing your notes. And this is a necessary thing. You write your notes and then you reorganize them. Or rewrite your notes. Uh, the uh, this part of the vlog, the transitions, uh, uh, part of uh, our, our 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 life as uh, cyborg alpha. This is uh, the notes, uh, the observation vlog, and now the gnosis vlog are the verbal essays, and they're the rough draft. They're, they're the rough draft verbal essays. They're not finished or, or completed. They're rough draft. So there's going to there's going to be flubs, mistakes, but you get to see all this because if you're going to do in-depth analysis of me as a source, then you need to see how do I come to how do I come to uh, the different the understandings that I come to. It, it's not going to be about my you know my my greatness, my this, my that. It's about how did you come to uh, how did you come to these ideas? How did what influenced you? And you'll be able to see what influenced me, how I'm influenced. Because I don't hide it. I don't edit it. I don't edit it, edit it out. Uh, when you're tired, you run through things very quickly, and I have a tendency to slur my words. So I have to slow down and, you know, sometimes try again. You, you trip over something, you pick yourself up and continue on. And that's where a lot of, a lot of the uh, repetition, a lot of the stumbling... Uh, is I've tripped over something, the word has, has not come out right, and I have to do it again because I didn't think it came out right. <laughs> so as long as I hear it come out right, the, the you know second or third time, and then we're in the right direction. So I do watch these vlogs. I do, when I'm doing the editing, I do watch the vlogs. I watch how I speak. I watch some of the issues that I may have in terms of uh, the way I present things. And then you try to correct them for the next time. Sometimes it does take a while because it takes a while to break habits and form, because when you're doing something new and you do it long enough, it's going to become a new habit. So you have to break the old habits that are bad and bring in new habits that are good. And, you know, this, you know I'm going to be going back in and do the YouTube stroll once again. and uh, I will be going by to see uh, what Carly Reese has done. I always go by... Yaoi Vlogs is consistent. Almost every, every day I've seen so far, uh, Yaoi Vlogs is always posted. So uh, they're on my regular thing. They're on my regular route. But on the weekends, this is when the uh, when the uh, uh, Carly and uh, uh, and uh, what's her name, uh, Carly Reese Kesley, uh, always post. So I did. Uh, Allie, in terms of Allie, uh, Allie the Rose, she's now primarily in her parents' vlog. Uh, the Yahweh vlog, so I'll be seeing her there. Oh, it, it's difficult to keep pushing yourself forward because you expect results to be almost immediate and instantaneous. So if you go, oh, I'll try this for three weeks and I'm going to see how it goes when three weeks, three, three weeks go by and it really not much has popped up. Uh, and so it's difficult to sort of push yourself forward. Uh, my is is not an issue for me of of, of my success. I said these are notes, these are research. I'm doing the research anyways. This helps me out understand how things are coming along in my mind. It helps out. The notes always help you understand things better. 
when they go back in and you rewrite your notes, that's studying. That's that's research, because you're learning from it. And this is what this is. This is a, a learning process. Uh, somehow I think the camera's uh, gone again because uh, uh, <laughs> the the height isn't there. My face is down. It should be like that. But anyways, that's where we are now. I will see you uh, inside probably, hopefully afterwards. Uh, see what happens with the, once I finish the uh, once I finish the YouTube show. I've gone in far enough. Usually by ti by 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 two o'clock in the morning, the adrenaline has popped off enough that I end up having to go to bed. I end up sleep, uh, falling asleep on the couch. I'll go to bed for a couple hours and get up again and have a breakfast or something like that. So we'll see we'll see how this thing ends up working out in terms of the transitions. Uh, but right now, it's time to go inside and uh, begin the uh, YouTube stroll. Well, it is four and a half hours into the, uh, you know, four hours and 30 minutes into the uh, 14th day. I just checked. I just checked. The 15th day of November 2016. Uh, my days are off once again. I'm coming back because I'm going to ask a question that uh, Carly asked on her video because you can do this as a YouTuber. You can ask questions and comment and stuff like that in your video. So I'm going to do that. Uh, she asked if uh, uh, we, uh, if any of her viewers will uh, do thrifting. I do, I do thrifting on a regular basis. That's Thrifting is how I shop, actually. I don't have money to go to the regular store, so I typically go to discount or, or, or my online stores are all discount stores are all I think uh, there'd be at least 50% 50 percent of the cost of if I went into a regular store so but I think this is this is how you live this is how you know you uh, exist at uh, many times uh, so you can do things that you wouldn't nor ordinarily be able to do uh, if you had to spend all the money that you typically would typically would spend. Uh, so this is kind of it, and I know she's talked about in the video about her late night habits and staying out late. Well, well being a night, more of a night owl, but because I don't have anywhere to go at night, so this is sort of typically it. This is the way I exist. It's I said it's four thirty in the morning, and I'm just now finishing. So normally I'd finish later, but. Um, transitioning now to uh, the sleep realm, and I'll do my work in there. So, see you. Uh, we'll see if I can do. A, I can do a transition when I get up again. Uh, we'll see when that is. On to the Nosy's vlog. It is now. Oh, it's uh, it's it's uh, one minute into the. Uh, 16th day of November uh, 2021, and this is the beginning, well, this is the second uh, video on the Gnosis vlog, uh, primarily because the first uh, Gnosis vlog is the same as the observation vlog, so they're going to be, they're going to be in the, in the uh, uh, playlist itself, the, the two are going to look exactly the same because they are, and what happens is we talked before, we talk about how Gnosis is the hidden part of the world. The Imperial world part of the world are always Gnostic. They have the belief in gods above. In other words, this is the, the, the woke who who only consider the real world, the conscious world, never consider the never considers the higher the higher conscious. And this is where Ram Das uh, actually comes into play. Timothy Leary is there to a bit, but it's primarily Ram Das. Ram Das produces Doctor Wheel. He also produces Dr. Oz, he produces Oprah, and he produces the entire feel-good uh, spectrum of things. And out of this comes uh, two different groups, one known as the Rajneesh, the Rajneeshes, and, um, and the Raelians. The, the Harry Christians are there, but they kind of take a back seat to all these, the, the, these two particular ones. The, uh, the Rajneesh, who are literally global, and the Raelians, who are based in Montreal. And it centers around these ashrams, these gurus, uh, who create these philosophies and ideas. These are they are um, 
prophets who have been given certain wisdom and they're imparting their wisdom on others. Of course, you know, when you have someone of that nature, the prophet, you know, women, so to speak, flock to them in order to have their to have their children so that the progeny, that the offspring becomes some form of, well, maybe son of the prophet or son of God. Because these people, these, uh, these people at the core of these cults are deified. And of course, in order to keep the cult together, to keep it going, to sort of have it evolve, it needs children to do this. And you ask yourself, why are people passing around children? Why is there such a demand for the trafficking of children? Because you have these cults, and there's a lot of them out there, who, in order to keep these prophets going, need these children. They need to be able to, be, to sort of go, in many cases, procreate with them. I mean, no no person, in terms of an older person, an older woman, is necessarily going to uh, procreate with a uh, an 80-year-old man or a 70-year-old man. Uh, <laughs> the only way to do it is you drug the kid and you do what you need to do in terms of uh, get particularly the girl, uh, getting her pregnant, and then she has the baby. She's considered to be, like, you know, uh, uh, you know the, the, the honored guest and so on and so forth, and she produces the child. The child becomes the most important thing, and away you go. Uh, the Dalai Lama's like this. This is how the Dalai Lama works. Is they go globally, uh, the uh, Buddhists from Tibet, globally to see who is going to be the next Buddha. But again, as you look into the history of this, you start things aren't exactly on the up and up, let's say. There are issues and red flags that kind of pop up and say, hmm, I wonder about this. Uh, and unfortunately, this is where you have people like uh, Bill Maher who come up with this whole thing of religiousness. Uh, re religious is typically aimed at the Christians, but most people who aim at Christians in terms of their uh, railing against Christians have no formal understanding of Christianity. The Christianity that they rail against is the Western Christianity. The Western Christianity emerges with the papacy at about 1,000 AD, 1,000 years after Christ. It is not connected to Christ. And you, could, you sat down and read through the gospel, you would understand that it's not connected to Christ. This is why a majority of the time they spend their focus on these so called Bible thumpers, they focus on the Old Testament. Why? They're focusing on punishment, crime and punishment. And this focus is something that, that is difficult to sort of ignore because it's very violent, very brutal. But if you go into, into the New Testament, you begin to understand that this is not the case, that this is something, you know, fundamentally different, that there is a <clears throat> a shift in, in, in the focus that, that, that what Christ was doing was condemning those who ruled by law. I mean, this is, this is why Christ was put to, put to death. People, you know, look at Christ. And why was he put to death? Because he was anti-establishment from the, from the earthly perspective, from, from the physical perspective. He was anti-establishment. He was saying the priests aren't needed, the, 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 the church isn't needed. He says the only thing, this was his rule. How do you be a good Christian? You take up your cross, you, you deny yourself, uh, selflessness, humility, pick up your cross, that's deal with your struggles, and follow after me. That was it. The final part in terms of the final judgment, what is it? That you do to the least of me, you do to that you do to the least of men. You, men is is anthropomorphic. It means both men, men and women, men and women uh, in terms of the gender. And follow uh, that you do to the least of men, you do to me. In other words, if Christ is God, when you attack a whore or, or, or whatever you want to call this person who is not, you know, abiding by the law, and this is what they would do in terms of stoning people and so on and so forth. Oh, what are you doing? You were attacking. You were attacking Christ. You were attacking. You were attacking God. In other words, here's God associating himself with the lowest performer person on, on earth. And this is this is where racism comes from. It's because it was it was believed that these lower classes weren't fully human, and of course, these dark people weren't fully human either. So th it wasn't just the, the dark people who weren't fully human. It was also the people within the societies at the lowest level. They were considered to be highly flawed. They were, these are the ones who needed to be corrected. And these were the defectives. 
Alrighty, it's two hours and thirty-eight minutes into the sixteenth day of uh yeah, the sixteenth day of uh November two thousand uh twenty-one. And we're getting close on our uh our our uh life of cyborg cyborg alpha vlog, the notes vlog. Into sort of bringing them to a current time. We're currently uh, let's see, is well, we're the 16th, and uh, we're going to be doing uh, on Wednesday. Uh, we'll be doing uh, uh, doing October 30th, and so that means we're getting closer and closer to being uh, within two weeks uh, of the actual current date. So we're we're getting there. We're uh, uh, slowly but surely moving along. I'm getting more comments on the vi the video. Uh, my viewership has gone up. My uh, subscriptions have gone up, so that's that's a good sign. It's, when you work hard on something, you want to sort of see it pan out, uh, even if it doesn't necessarily pan out the way uh, most people th uh, think it should pan out. Uh, as long as my uh, the ideas get out there to make a better world, then that's what counts. It, it doesn't matter if I get credit for it or not. You always want to have, you always want to leave, leave the environment around you better than better than when you, when you came in. Uh, and even if it's in, 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 in so if, even if you don't get the credit for it, it's still worth it. Oh, and so that's the way I'm working. That's that's how I exist. And I just finished the uh, YouTube show for now. I'm it's it's, it's, it's two thirty in the morning, and I'm falling off very quickly. My my speech pattern is slurred and. So I can tell the fatigue is here. It just, uh, it's just, uh, uh, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's, it's pretty bad. So I'm going to leave this here. That's why this is uh, where we, where the night ends or the day ends or this section ends anyways. I do have a lot more work to do tomorrow. I have things sort of set up and aligned. And let's see how uh, we get everything done. Uh, anyways, uh, I will see you uh, tomorrow, uh, hopefully during the day. I'll try to vlog more often, so we'll see what ends up happening. Well, it's 23 hours and, f 23 hours and 53 minutes into the 16th day of November. And we're finishing up the night out here. This is the transitions part section of the main vlog, our life as Cyborg Alpha. I'm doing this more on a regular basis. The vlog does need to have a number of uh, vlogging locations, not just the main one. Uh, I've been able to do both the observation vlog and the noses vlog out here. Uh, two very interesting subjects. They are interrelated, and this is what needs to be understood, is that there are topics that are inter interrelated but cannot be dealt with at the same time because they're too complex. And it's, it's how the pieces of the puzzle connect in more than, more than one way. And you need to consider all the ways the pieces, pieces of the puzzle that you find in this massive scavenger hunt. Uh, you need to f consider... All the ways pieces of the puzzle can connect together, how they fit. Uh, and in many cases, there are more than one way that it can be done. It's not just one way, it's multiple ways. And this is what, co this is what causes a lar large chunk of the confusion for conspiracy theorists. Is they just don't have enough information. They're missing pieces. And so when they put the pieces, the pieces, pieces, the pieces of the puzzle together, they have it, but the picture they're showing is wrong. They put it together the wrong way, but they can't get to the right way because they're missing a certain number of pieces. And if they had these pieces, they found this information, it would change the perspective, and then they would be able to put it together the right way. In other words, your pieces, how they fit together, depends on your perspective. Change your perspective, and you can change the way how you put the pieces together, and this will give you a better insight into what happened. This is why you have to go out. You have to go out and you have to find multiple perspectives. How does somebody else think about maybe something you've seen or 
maybe something you haven't seen. Maybe they, someone out there giving their opinion on something, their experience. This is what I use Lionel for. Lionel gives me, gives me experiences that I have never had before. He adds my adds to my library of experiences because he's telling me what his experiences are. He's giving me another perspective. He's another perspective. And his perspective, in terms of how he sits, he's connected with the law. He's been a lawyer. He's been in the courtroom. It's not just been theoretical. So he gives you that experience. He gives you that perspective. But he's also in upper society. He ha has known Alex Baldwin. He knew him. And I, I think maybe at one point in time they were friends. But uh, now that, he, of course, he, he became a Trump supporter, you know, Lionel became a Trump supporter to some degree. Not, not a fanboy or a fangirl. But rather, so the, he would so in terms of the choices he would have to vote for, it would be Trump. Again, there, there are a number of reasons why you would vote for Trump. Some of them people are just, you know, hey, Trump, 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 Trump. And that's all it is. That's, you're on the bandwagon. You're having a good time. It's fanfare. You're a cheerleader. And woo, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, and so on and so forth. But for other people, there were other, there were other reasons for why you would vote for Donald Trump. My reason for voting Trump for, for Trump or Republican in general is because, well, Trump is uh, a very rich guy who has his country club. And I wouldn't fit in the country club, and a large chunk of the Republicans wouldn't want me in their uh, uh, country club, but they stay away from me. In other words, I don't mind being excluded. I've never been a part of society. I don't fit well within society. When I go out to uh, social functions, I really don't know what to do with myself. It's it's a bizarre feeling because it, you, you're there, but at the same time you feel this sense of disconnection that you don't fit in with other people. You've got nothing to say. You know you can't you don't talk about the things that the other talk, they talk about because these are things that you simply don't do. It's not part of who you are, and so you have this massive disconnect, and you kind of sit there like. Eh. Nice. <laughs> and that's it. Nothing else to say. And of course, a lot of the work that I'm doing is has is problematic in terms of what I describe because it is part of the black science. You know, you know oh man, you, you're, you're stuffy. You should be. You're so good. You should be part, doing. You should go. You know, DARPA has lots of money. Yeah, I know DARPA has lots of money, but the thing is, I also know what the consequences are. I mean, look what happened to John Hutchinson. John Hutchinson was, was working with DARPA until he got to the point where he couldn't do anything more, got to the end of his work, and he couldn't produce anymore. They came and took him away. I mean, I saw, I've seen him recently on the, on the Internet. Uh, he, he, I, think he's, I think the last time I saw him on the Internet, I don't know, it was about a year to two years ago, uh, he was in Oregon, uh, and he was wearing a, a, a blonde wig and was calling himself Carla. So... <laughs> If Chelsea Manning has any has any meaning to you, uh, and then you'll understand Carla Hutchinson instead of John Hutchinson uh, in terms of the Hutchinson effect. Uh, I don't want that to happen to me. It's, it, I consider this to be bad for my. I know there are people out there in terms of the trans understanding that this is something normal. You know, being a person or torturing a person until they until they become trans. That's a normal thing. This is what normally happens. <laughs> so if that's normal to you, fine. That's not normal to me and not something I want to happen. I'm, you know, I'm happy the way I am. And But the thing is, is, at the same time, I get to do the exploration that I want to do. I get to go places I want to go. Part of exploration is going into the unknown. There's an enormous amount of risk in this. So the, so the risk part, the, the, the way I live, is pretty much par for the course in terms of doing exploration. It just what happens. You can't go around blabbing and talk about it to everybody because there are certain aspects that are uh, that need to remain, remain private. They need to be hidden from society. And I understand that, the, the, that there is hidden information. Why I talk about it a lot? Why is information hidden? Sometimes it needs to be. It doesn't mean you can't find it. It just means that it needs to be hidden. How do you find information that's hidden? Well, learn about the subject. Understand the mechanics, how something works. Once you understand something, how something works, you can understand what's real and what's not real, and you can also understand what the possibilities are in terms of what other people are working on. If you don't understand the mechanics, then 
that's it. You're gone. You have a nice theory. You have a nice mathematics. You have nice, uh, uh, you know, uh, math skills, and that's about it. Anyways, time to transition inside for the YouTube stroll. Get myself something to eat and continue on from there. All right, see you then. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life.